Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I almost said Monday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, May 2nd. If you're here, say hello. I love to chat with you. If you're new here, I'm Leslie. Um, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I just teach people how to make pretty things using stamps, paper, and ink. And today is an exciting day in our world, in our Stampin' Up! world. Um, our new annual catalog um, went live this morning, or at 12.01 a.m., mountain time last night and I just I usually come on on Mondays and we make something together but I thought since today was such a big day um I I canceled Monday and I'm coming on today so we'll call it try it Tuesday um whatever you want to call it but I'm glad you're here um like I said say hello I love to chat with you and we're going to look at a lot of things so I'd love to hear your comments on them as we as we move along. I'm going to turn the camera around. Hey, Kathy. Okay, here is the annual catalog, and I've got it stuffed full of things because we're going to look at things, and I thought the best way to do that was to kind of stick everything in where where it uh, belonged. Hey, Kim, thanks for joining me, you girls. Hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in KC, a little chilly, but the sun is shining and um, I always love it when the sun's out. So I hope it's nice where you are. Um, so it looks like Kathy's coming from YouTube and Kim is coming from Facebook. So we are good to go. I was gonna check on my iPad if I'm where I'm supposed to be. Um, but it looks like I must be, so that's good. Okay, like I said before, the catalog went live today. You can order out of the new catalog now. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, demonstrators, I am one. Um, we're able to order a few things in a pre-order a month ago, so that's one of the perks of being a demonstrator. And so I, we're going to make a project a little bit in a little bit using some of the some of the my favorite things that we were able to get at the time and um, there's a few samples in here that some fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrators have shared with me so in a swap so I thought I would show you those so you can kind of see some samples. Kim is back from soaking up a little sun that sounds awesome I was just, I just had a cup of coffee and I thought I should have sat out in the sun to, um, to enjoy my coffee, but I did not. I was catching up on one of my shows. I should, I don't even remember the name of it, but I'm kind of getting into a show and I had missed like three episodes. So I sat and had a cup of coffee and relaxed a minute before we started. Okay, let's get busy because we're going to go through this catalog really quick. Please, if you have any questions... Um, put them in the comments or let me know if you like something. I'd love to, um, I like to hear people's comments. And if you hate something, because there's some things that, you know, yeah, I'm not real thrilled about, but that's what makes the world go around. We all like different things. Kim says she was out there with the pups, so she had a few minutes. My pups are laying in the sun. I opened my blinds so they could have a little sun. Okay, we are able to show you the inside of the catalog now. Hey, Stace. So um, I, I thought we just flipped through it really fast. And um, and then I've got some samples kind of stuck in the middle. This was one of the pre-order items that we were able to get. But you know, I put a lot of my budget towards the new in colors. There were some color refresh. So we replaced a lot, uh, several colors. I think 11 colors were replaced. And then we had five new in colors. So I used a lot of my budget to get cardstock, ink, markers, and Stampin' Blends. And so I love this um, suite, but I did not get it. Um, a little mention about the suites and about the catalog. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and would like a catalog, I would be happy to get one out to you. Um, you just need to contact me. You can go to um, leslie.stampinup.net and there's a contact tab, I believe, and you can just um, send me a little email there and we can 
connect and I can get your mailing information. Anyway, uh, sweets include everything. So um, this suite, the bright and beautiful, includes the stamp set, the coordinating dies, the um, designer series paper. In this case, it's six by six paper. It looks really cute. I can't wait to order that. I'm putting in an order later on today. And then you also get the Gold Celebrations Specialty Designer Series paper. And they've used it to make these cute little um, shaker cards. And look at this die. A friend of mine this weekend pointed it out to me. It makes this lovely little fringe. So um, I had a lot of ideas and her and I came up with some ideas to use that fringe. And so even if I didn't want the balloons, I want the set for that fringe die. <laughs> So that's a little something there. Okay, if you're into carousels, here is a cute little thing. If you have some, some girly girls in your family, um, this is a great one. Stacy says, that one I like the best. Which one? The, the carousel horses? <laughs> oh, I didn't finish talking about the sweets. Okay. There's one price and one number. So when you're ordering, if you want everything on here, use that number and you get everything. And you don't have to put in several different numbers. Um, and you save, you still save your 10% on your stamp set and dies. If you just want the bundle, use that number. You'll save 10%. If you just want the stamp set, use that number. And the paper, um, there's page numbers and item uh, product numbers over here that you can order that separately. The balloons is Stacy's favorite. That's awesome. Okay, the Circle Sayings bundle. I did not order the stamp set, but now I wish I did because I'm seeing this cupcake everywhere. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to save 10% because I just ordered the punch in the pre-order and did not order the bundle. But Stampin' Up! now has a two, two and three eighths inch circle punch. I love that they're bringing back the punches, the circle punches. So right now... We have the two and three eighth circle punch, the one and three quarter circle punch, and the two inch circle punch. These two circle punches are currently unavailable because they were so popular, um, th but they are coming in back into stock. We just don't know when. Um, but the two and three eighth circle punch is available, hopefully for a minute. If you really love something, you just you just need to go for it. But I, I really, I'm going to get the stamp set now. I didn't know that I wanted it, but everything in this stamp set fits in the circle perfectly, the two and three eight circle. Okay, here's another one of the sentiment sets that the dies um, cut out the outline of the sentiments, and I love that. This is a really cute set, the Lazy Days bundle. I love the rug and the rocking chair. Um, we have a screened in back porch and this just screams, relax, relax. Hi, Loopy. We're just kind of flipping through the catalog. The Sweetest Cherries is a returning favorite. Here's a card we made in my card class a week ago, two weeks ago. I can't even remember using that. It is a punch set. Um, the stamp set is only $18 and there is a coordinating punch for the leaves and the cherries. So I wanted to show you that sample. And I forgot to show you the sample, um, doo -doo -doo, the Circle Sayings Bundle. This card is from a team member of mine, Jamie um, Tyson. And is that the most cute you've ever seen? Oh, what happened? What happened? Okay, you guys, I'm still in the corner, but my, there we go. Oh, that's scary. Hope that doesn't keep happening. There was a little blurb, a little blip there. Anyway, we did a swap, and I've still got to get mine in the mail, but Jamie got hers out right away. But isn't that the cutest thing? And it's using the circle and the punch. And um, I'll have to find out where she got these little candles because I love them. <laughs> oh, it probably says because she sent me a, um, her little list. Here we go. 
radiating stitches dies, sentiment silhouettes dies. I'm wondering if that, this is the radiant silhouettes, um, the candles. I gotta look that up because I would love to have those candles. Okay, so that's a sample for that one. Sorry I skipped through that really fast. I showed you that you're the cherry on top. Okay, the dainty delight, that is a returning favorite. And on Saturday or on Thursday, I went with some friends and we did kind of a shoebox swap where everyone brings a, a card to make and then we all make each other's cards. And this is one that Betty Holton, some of you on here know Betty, um, taught us how to make. And I think I might do this tomorrow during my coffee and a card because I have been wanting, I've seen this lattice card all over the place and I finally learned how to make it because Betty taught me how to do that. So that's the Dainty Delight on page 22. Page 166. Kim says, those are with the coordinating sentiments die. So the candles. Oh, good, 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 good. Thank you, Kim. I love that. I love those candles. Here's a punch, um, a punch that will coordinate with this. It's it's no longer included in the, um, the a bundle, but all of these sentiments and images will fit in that cute little punch. All right. Moving right along, now I have a lot of cards using the color and contour set, and you guys know I use my contour dies, scallop contour dies all the time, but I didn't have time to pull out some samples for that. These are two returning favorites, Sending Smiles and Pansy Patch. Um, these are really fun. I really like the So Refreshing, and I will probably get that one. Oh, Kim's going to get the, the candles too. Awesome. This is another one with, um, look at this old school um, pop bottle. I just love that. And then you've got, a, what do you call those cakes? It's almost like a um, Swiss roll. Anyway, those are really fun and kind of old school. And I really love this lemonade one. I think it's because I'm ready for summer. And that reminds me of summer. Um, this one got a lot of comments at my card class last week, at least the evening ladies. They really liked this um, Lay Shops Sweet Collection. The paper is adorable, and I think I will probably get this sweet as well. I don't know if my I will get it in my order today, but I think it's very cute, and it's very on trend. I've been seeing a lot of this from other manufacturers. Okay, here's our Sweet Citrus. And um, it's it's from our a spring catalog, and so it carried over. So here's a couple of cards. We've made these at different classes of mine. This one uses the coordinating embossing folder. It's a what do they call that? A hybrid embossing folder. So it all it, it embosses, and then you die cut the images out. Can you see the impressions there? This one we didn't use the embossing folder, but there's two samples using. The Sweet Citrus. This is another returning favorite. I love this. And it also has a little note here on page 165. The Paper Florist Dies. I am going to get those dies because look how um, dimensional they are to make some big flowers. I can't wait. Okay, the Two-Tone Flora is another one that is returning. Here is one that I've made probably during one of my my live streams, but here's one that I made. Um, this is another Betty Betty Holton original. She um, designed this card and we made this when we got together on Thursday. You probably can't see it, but there's some Wink of Stella on those flowers, so they are sparkling all over the place. This is a, um, what would you call this, a wow card. It uses um, all the different dyes. Um, I just love it. And a lot of dimension there. This one is just a layer card. I use, um, there's no dyes at all that I used on this using the two-tone flora. So that was more of a simple card. <clears throat> a lot of these are returning. I, I'm glad cottage wreaths are returning because I love that set. I always love a good wreath at, in the fall and the winter. 
Here's another one of those sentiment sets, the wonderful thoughts that the dies cut the um, sentiments out. I really like that. The season of chic is returning. I have a blip in my catalog. These are all returning stamp sets. I should have told you guys to grab your catalogs. We can go to go through it together. I really like the ringed with nature, um, but I did not get that one. I really love these little mushrooms and the little, um, what do you call those? Not walnuts or pecans, they're <laughs> my brain. I had, I added my MCT oil to my coffee to give me some brain clarity, but obviously it's not working. <laughs> um, Oh, good. Loopy loves the lattice cards. Kim, which ones do you have marked on your list? You're marking as we go. That's awesome. Okay, here's another one that I got from a fellow team member using the Zoo Pru Suite. It's using the paper. And Gigi, this is Gigi Cohen. She did um, a little flip card. Oh, I see how she did that. We might have to do that. She basically made a normal card, you know, an A2 card, and then she just sliced down, it looks like an inch maybe, on each side, and then adhered those to the card base, and then just left this one to flap open. I love that. Don't you love the little frog and the turtle? And that is also a suite where you can get all the things. I went ahead and got this one. I haven't done anything with it, but I just, I love the little llama. I just love them all. They're so cute. And look at this paper and the dies will cut out the, um, thank you, Kathy, acorns. Oh, the sentiment and dies. I love those too, Kim. I love having those. So your dies are going to cut out these these pictures from the these images from the um, paper. I love when Stampin' Up does that. It saves you on a lot of coloring, <laughs> and then you're sad when you've used them all up. But um, and look at this little bunny rabbit. Oh my gosh! I just we've been we went out of town and I haven't had time and I've been sick, y'all. I still have so much. My ears are so plugged up. I had, oh, look at that. I didn't realize that. I wonder if the dye will cut that out. Let's see. Here she is. I bet it will. Yes. Oh, that's so fun. I don't know why, but I really love that llama. And I love that you can just color in little portions. When you're doing your stamping, remember that. You don't have to color in the whole thing to make it look cute. Here they are dancing. Oh, look at the skunk. And the pig. <laughs> These are adorable. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm uh, shopping or enjoying this too much. That's gonna we're gonna be here all day. Okay, so the suite you get the stamp set, the paper, and the ribbon combo pack. So the ribbon combo pack will will coordinate with your paper. Um, it looks like the colors are lemon lime twist and petal pink. Really cute. And I like the size of those ribbons. They look like they're about an eighth to a fourth of an inch. When ribbons get too wide, I get a little, have trouble, have trouble. Here's one I'm definitely gonna get. I'll probably order it today is the Hey Chuck bundle. <laughs> I love it, love it, love it, love it. I love the fence. That's a die. Somebody has some real coloring skills in the uh, Stampin' Up! artists. 
Of course, our Easter Bunny, the punch I checked today. It's still not in, but it is coming. Um, okay, here is our Taco Fiesta that we've had for a while. I think it came out in the spring catalog. Here's a card I made using that. It's a kind of a stand-up card. Long time no taco, your nacho average friend. And you can look up these videos in my past uh, live streams to find out how I made them. But um, I, The Little Monkey was another um, bundle we could order in the pre-order. I loved it, but I, like I said, I invested a lot in the new, new colors. So now that we're past that and I've got them in stock, I can start um, working on the fun stuff. Okay, here's another returning one. Here's what we did in our card class. Was it last week or the week before? I think it was the week before. So isn't that cute? That little ice cream cone. That's the Sharon milkshake. Here's some fun, easy, um, <clears throat> big sentiments. Those are kind of nice to have, big sentiments. I saw somebody do something with the friendship royalty. I think it was the million dollar sales achiever because none of us were able to get it till today. So Kelly Akinson um, design, helped design this um, fun stamp set. Here's some more little critters. Here's the Hello Ladybug returning, and then here's the Sweet Songbirds car, or, um, stamp set with, um, there's a coordinating punch. Here's a card that we've made using that, um, that bundle. It's no longer bundle priced um, because it's returning, but uh, the stamp set is only $19. Kathy Garnett loves the monkey set. I know. It's one I'm going to have to get to. Where, where did it go? I'm kind of having FOMO that I did not get that during pre-order. Because it's so cute. And I've seen a lot of cute things done with the punch and everything. Look at that little guy. So fun. All right. The playing in the rain. Here's a card. I did not. Here's a card where I did not use the the um, characters, but I used the um, kite and the cloud. No, the clouds, I use my cloud punch because the cloud dies were a little bit smaller, but I did use the kite die from the plane in the rain um, dies for that. These are all, um, this one's kind of fun if you have a nurse or a policeman or a fireman or a doctor or a teacher in your life. That's kind of nice. Here is another Countryside Inn, which I did get because this paper, I love the paper. I have big plans for this paper. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at the little foxes in that paper. I think I love blue. This would go good in your house, Stacy. <laughs> There's a little bunny. Anyway, that is the paper. That is the Country Side End Designer Series paper. The dies are going to be really fun. I haven't done anything with this. Here's the stamp set. So you've got several stitched, um, or one, it's one stamp. It's kind of almost a background stamp. But I think if you use the dies, you can um, cut them all out. Let's check. Yep, so you can use your dies and then you can cut these out to use as frames or just use it as a background stamp. So that's pretty fun. I like that. And the embossing folder is what I love the most. <laughs> it is the Countryside Blossoms. Look how pretty that is. That's on Pool Party. I love that embossing folder. The embossing folder is uh, $8.50. So that's a pretty good deal on that. It's not a three-dimensional, but I love it. So I got the whole suite on that. Some other flowers. Look at this sample. I love how they've, it looks like they've used the stamps from 
um, the Lasting Joy stamp set, these floral images, and stamped them on that die. So cute. <clears throat> Ooh, Luby loves it. Everybody loves it. <laughs> um, textured floral. That looks like a lot of fun. Okay, Quiet Meadow. Here's another um, swap that I got. This is from Laura um, Nigro. She's a local gal on my team. And she used this Timeless Arrangements. Look at all of the sentiments on that. And then all of the dyes. Oh my gosh. So cute. She did a lot of work if she did 16 of these. <laughs> so pretty. And I would have overlooked this without seeing that sample. So thank you, Laura, for sharing that. This one looks like a, a, it has potential for me. I'm loving the big die. That's like a whole card situation. I always like those. Look at this border die. So cute. I'm a type of writer person. I was an administrative assistant for a lot of years. Used a lot of different typewriters before the computer came out. And so I'm always fond of typewriters. So I'll probably get this one too. Here's another sweet, Earth and Elegance. This is very um, Southwest, maybe. Um, boho chic. I like the dyes, the different flowers. Um, but it's not really my style. I'm sure it's somebody's style, but it's not mine. But look at this flower. Can You you probably can't see the dimension, but it's on page 70. This dye make, makes kind of a dimensional... Um, fan flower. Here's some more. Here is the returning country bouquet with the um, coordinating punch. Here's a card we made. I don't know if we made this in a class or if I just made this one, but I that's with the contour dies that I, I talked about earlier. And then I just punched out some flowers from DSP. It's so easy to make a card when you have um, pretty paper and punches. So that's using the Country Bouquet. Here's some more big um, sentiments, kind of nice to fill up space. I love this Let's Go Fishing Suite. I think I'll be getting it. The die is, or the, um, what do you call that? Embossing folder is really pretty. S -s Twisted Rope. 3D embossing folder. This will be really good for your masculine cards. I just really like it. I like this toolkit. I don't know if you can tell. But there's a die that kind of looks like little sections of a toolkit. I thought you could use that for a lot of things. Candies, um, different things. Here's some more. This is fun if you got some little guys in your in your in your circle. Stacy said she's tempted to get that one. Are you talking about the Let's Go Fishing? I'm I like it. I really do. I don't get a lot of masculine sets. But I think I'm going to get that one. If you're a traveler, this these are all nice here. Um, I like these different oceanfront, grassy grove. I think they coordinate really well together. Look at this sample right here using that oceanfront. Love that. And then here's some for the animal lovers. Here is stargazing. It's a sweet. You get some foil papers. What are they calling this paper? They're calling it ho holographic trio. You get um, specialty paper. It looks like you get three sheets maybe. And it coordinates with all of the stuff. That's really cool. I think we're in the masculine section. 
Stacy says she likes it, but she doesn't know any fishermen. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, you know a Harley rider. Here's one for you. <laughs> I really like this on the ocean. It's a returning thing, and I didn't get it. I might have to get it. I just the samples are really cute. Do you know any skateboarders or scooter riders? Here's great for your um, tweens, tween boys. It's kind of hard sometimes to make cards for that age. Um, this crafting with you is so sweet. I've seen a lot of stuff done with that. The dies, you've got scissors that actually will function with the dies. Um, the um, die for the um, paper cutter, you can actually slip something in, like it looks like you're cutting paper. I've seen some really cute things with that. I like it. Here is for the um, musical people and gamers and beer drinkers. Here's Inked Botanicals. I think this is beautiful. I love the paper. I love the ribbon. It's very serene. It's very simple. I really like it. And it comes with two punches. This go to greetings. It's a returning stamp set and I think I'm going to have to get it. I just love the, the uh, font on all of those things and it's got everything you would need for any kind of card. I have the stamp set and I've done nothing with it. I need to get it out and do something in the in the moment. The bottle happiness is returning. Bold bouquet. These are really pretty, the scenic wonders. They would go with those other two we were talking about earlier. Masterfully made. Look at the colors on this paper. I like the little, um, it's like a little notebook tear die. That's kind of neat. Be worth it for just that. Here is a Days to Remember. Still, it's returning. Coffee with Friends. This is really fun. Your path awaits. I haven't, well, we haven't been able to order, so I can't wait to see what people do with that. I think I'm going to like that. But I have to wait and see. Sometimes I have to see what people do with it. <laughs> they took away all of our other butterflies, so they had to give us some more. So the enchanted butterfly. kind of pretty okay here is one of my favorites fresh as a daisy sweet I did get this sweet here is a card I think I made this last week <laughs> last Wednesday for um, coffee and a card and we're gonna make another card just as soon as we're done here using that sweet I guess I like it the best I keep using it uh, this is returning softly sketched if you're a watercolor, you might really like that. Um, this is sweet. I like this stamped with love set. And then here's a background stamp. Um, and I made this, did we make this in our class? No, I made this during a live stream using the rays of light. And the, um, I think the borders die. And I think that's all my samples. And then we're getting into the colors and the tools. So that didn't take us very long. Um, all right, the card we're gonna make. I'm gonna grab my grid paper. I keep my grid paper on this, um, I think I got, I ordered this from Amazon. It's like a paper piercing mat. Because your photopolymer stamps kind of work really nicely on that. Here's the card we're going to make. And I cased this card, y'all. Um, I think I put her name in the description. 
She is a New Zealand um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I just loved it. I love the simplicity of it. And it won't take us very long to put this together because I did all the work before we came on. We are going to have to emboss though. So I've got for the um, card base my 8.5 by 5.5 um, basic white, thick basic white. And then I'm using one of the new colors, Lemon Lolly. And we're just going to. Um, adhere that to the card base and I did a real tight I didn't um, do your normal layer I did a real tight layer so this one is five and three eighths by four and an eighth so it's just an eighth of an inch smaller there's an eighth of an inch um, white frame And like I said, I um, cased this from a New Zealand Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Her name, I put it in the, the description. Um, so I just kind of followed kind of what she did. Okay, I'm using the um, type Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. And I don't know, I did this on dark paper, so you probably can't see it very well but it is a 3D embossing folder. And you know what, I shouldn't have, no, I did okay, Never mind. I <laughs> almost panicked. <laughs> so then the next thing I'm gonna do is take a piece of basic white, it's five and an eighth by four, and a piece of one and a half by four. This is another returning color, Lost Lag Lagoon. And I'm gonna adhere that to the basic white cardstock that we're going to emboss. So you can emboss through more than one layer of cardstock. Kathy, I was going to email all you ladies the free shipping order shipped yesterday. So um, I told you that the shipping is taking a while because of all of the things going on, all of the free shipping and the pre-order, but it did ship yesterday, so I'm hoping to have it by the end of the week and get it to you um, ASAP. Okay, this is a 3D embossing folder, and sometimes you can mist your um, cardstock. I'm going to just, and it'll impress, give you a bigger impression. So I'm going to just mist it a little bit and then stick it in my embossing folder. Yeah, I was going to email everyone who placed an order on free shipping day and let them know that that order did, or from the card class, that order did ship. I got an email yesterday. So, um... Normally, once it ships, it gets here in about four days, but I'm not promising anything because things have been wonky with the shipping. But yeah, I'm waiting on that order too. <laughs> okay. So we've embossed. I hope you can see this better than that darker. There you go. The lighter colors show up better on the camera. See that? Isn't that cute? So we're going to adhere that on top of our lemon lolly. I probably should have put this piece of Lost Lagoon down with some multi-purpose liquid glue because I misted it and it, um, it's kind of popping up. But I think it'll be okay because we're going to put all this other stuff on it. Okay, the dies on this uh, stamp set, there is one big die. I went ahead and did the die cutting because we, we're going to take so much time to go through the um, catalog. I used this die and I cut, so I cut out all these images and then I cut the leaves out. I cut a little 
extra leaf because I wanted four leaves off of that. And then I used these layering dies and the sentiment die. So we didn't stamp any of the flowers, but we just used the dies. And then what we're going to do is very carefully just trim these off. And we're going to use them as separate flowers. We could just glue the whole thing on there, but we're going to do this. And it works out really nicely. So it looks like its own separate die, the way they're connected. Alrighty. And then what I'm going to do is very, um, just a little tiny bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. And that was not a little tiny bit. So I'm going to get a little scrap. Came out really fast. Now it doesn't want to come out at all. There we go. I'm just kind of putting the glue on these little center pieces. And then we're going to figure out how this goes on here. I think it goes on like that. There's probably <laughs> no, uh, it probably doesn't matter how it goes on here. Uh-oh, Maggie's getting ready to bark. There we go. It's hard because it's white on white. And then I kind of flipped them up a little bit just to give them a little bit of dimension, the ends. So you can kind of see that, okay? And then we're just going to do that on the rest. I'm going to trim these. You can see where that little connector was on the die. So I'm going to trim those. One more. This is another one of those weird ones. Like I said, I don't think it matters, but there is a right and a wrong. <laughs> I just want to make sure all those little leaves line up. Is that there? There we go. I think that works. Okay. Now I'm going to take some Lost Lagoon for our leaves and some Lemon Lolly for our um, flowers. And then I've got these little Stampin' um, blendy things. <laughs> All of the, the uh, products I'm using are listed below. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of use it to fill the middle and maybe like make the middle a little darker than the, the rest. See how I'm just kind of blending it out 
just to add a little color to it. And I'm going to do that to all of the flowers. This one will be real easy because it's so small. And then this one. Okay, now the leaves, I'm going to use, do the same thing, but with the Lost Lagoon. And I, I'm not going to be real careful with them. I'm just coloring them in a little bit. This would be also be cute if you did the leaves in, um, cut them out of vellum. And then... Um, Blended, blended the ink onto the vellum. That would be cute, pretty. I just did this all out of basic white. Okay. Then we're gonna do the um, sentiment, which I chose the Your Friendship Means Everything. I thought it fit really well. And also the the card I cased used that. So that's probably the main reason I chose that. It just fit really good there. Um, this is also a die. The sentiment tag is also a die from the, the set. There we go. Okay. I think I put this on here while it was kind of still damp from the misting and it's kind of folding up. So I'm going to, although it kind of looks kind of neat fold, curling up on the edges, it makes it look a little bit more um, tattered. All right, and then I didn't use anything. To, I The only thing I popped up was the sentiment with some dimensionals. So let's do that. And I'm going to do that first and then fit the flowers around. Okay. So I'm going to put this big flower on here first, and I'm just going to use the multi-purpose liquid glue again, just kind of around the center here. Once it dries, it's really going to, um, it, I don't need to put glue everywhere. And then we're going to tuck this little one underneath corner here. Make sure you can see the sentiment. And then this one. We're going to pop up right here. Isn't that pretty? White and yellow look so good together. And then the leaves, I'm just going to tuck in there. That pretty and then the final thing I did was I added the little gems and they are right here these came with the suite I ordered the entire suite so I got all the things these are the adhesive backed solid gems and I used the lemon lolly ones
so cute. And I think I use the medium and the large and the small. I used all three sizes. Once again, probably because whoever I case this from, that's how she did it. I don't know. There we go. Thank you. Kind of frames it out. All right. That is the card. Um, happy um, catalog launch day to everybody. If I can answer any questions you have um, about the catalog or about any of the new products, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, what else was I going to share? I thought I was going to share one more thing. Oh, because I haven't updated my thing. Um, the May host code. <laughs> when you use the May host code and your order is over um, $35, you get a little something something. You usually get a card from me anyway, but you might get a little something in your card when you use the host code. I always like to thank you for your um, orders. So um, use that code. I will have it. It's in the, it might be in the description below, but it will be on my Facebook page and it will also be on, um, I don't know, it'll be all over. <laughs> I'm trying to think where I, I post it. I, I just forgot to post it this morning when I was doing everything else. So make sure you use the host code unless your order is over $150. Um, when your order is over $150, you earn your own host rewards. So um, there's that. Okay. Thanks, guys. I know this was a little bit longer than I normally uh, go on, but I just really wanted to share some of the samples that I had received from the catalog um, products and um, just flip through the catalog together. It's just fun. So thanks for chatting with me. Thanks for hanging in. And we will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. for coffee and a card. So um, happy stamping. Oh, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>